I got home from breakfast, started helping set up for Dad's birthday party. Hopefully he didn't hear me. Um, and then I started taking things off the car, so... I had to remove a little screw from, from right here that goes in right there to get this out of the way. And then I could put my screwdriver through this hole and remove a screw that takes this trim off. I took the mirrors off. I took the door panels off. And all that's pretty easy and self-explanatory. I don't think I'll screw that up when I go to put them back on. Um, the one thing I am not sure of is the handles and the door locks. I know there's videos on YouTube to watch to find out how to get those free. So, I will do that. I took off the passenger side door panel. I took off these felts. Um, they have two screws, one on each end. And then a bunch of these that poke in to hold it in place. This one was a little more difficult than the other one in that this uh, there wasn't much room to move around in there, but I'm going to have to do the same thing with this. Take this screw out, get this out of the way. This weather stripping is bad needs to be replaced it is on my Corvette wish list I uh, made an order through Corvette Central but when I went to uh, check out the shipping cost as much as the uh, items I was purchasing. And uh, that didn't really thrill me. So, instead, I went through a different vendor. I started checking all kinds of different vendors. I think I did Corvette mods. And, uh, I finally ended up on, you guessed it, Eckler's. So this should have a screw here, which it did. I have this little little bit of screw here. And the, oh, never mind. It's the screw here. I was thinking I was missing a screw because of this hole, but that holds that piece of felt in. Um, yeah. So, anyway, Eckler's is usually a little more expensive than Corvette Central, but the two pieces that I needed are the uh, front spoiler and the little fiberglass piece that you've seen in my other videos that's all broken up. So, uh, a lot of people, a lot of Corvette pipes have those pieces. And they're around, I don't know, 80, anywhere from 60 to 80 bucks. So, the price difference isn't that great from site to site. Um, but I clicked on them on Eckler's. I was like, shipping zero dollars. I was like, hallelujah. I'm gonna do that. Shipping for, uh-oh. Well, I just uncovered a, a bad place of Corvetteness for me. Look how rusted this area is. Um, the glass is really in the way of that too, so 
You have to find some way of cleaning that up. Ooh. Also, in here you can see this nut for the door handle, and there's one further back in there. And there's also something that connects to open the door. So I have to watch a video on how to get all that out. But I do have all this out, so that's good. Golly. Hopefully I can just clean that up and and I'll be good enough and make it so it doesn't rust anymore with some product of some kind or other. Um, again, so this is all I have right now for the doors, the mirrors, the handles, and the lock. Wow, I don't like that handle at all. I might have to buy me a, a new Corvette door handle. Look at this gap. I don't, I don't know, that doesn't seem right to me at all. So, anyway. Um, so until I watch a video on door handles and, and the locks, which I've seen, so I, I know that's not an issue, I'll find that and get that done. Um, I'm going to move on to uh, another thing to take off, and, and that's going to be the door sills here. I'll get the door sills out. Which is just a couple of screws. Um, but, as you can see, my door sills show quite a bit of wear. So I'd like to clean them up. Also, one of the first purchases I made was new door handles. As you can see, these door handles, they're, they're all right. Um, they function they're just not very pretty so I think uh, I think it would be a good idea oh so I bought new ones so I'm gonna replace those at some point with with my new ones and I also purchased the little emblem that comes with them. Actually, I said comes with them, but I had to purchase it separately, so it doesn't come with them. But, you know, no, no, no need to cry over spilt milk. Um, this cell is missing one of its screws, so... That's screw number two. Screw hole number three is empty socket. And screw number four. There's a neat little video by 76 Vet where he shows that these screws screw into fiberglass and so oftentimes the screws will strip into that fiberglass and no longer hold a tight fit. So he takes a zip tie and he tucks it in there and then he screws in on top and that screw goes into that plastic zip tie in the fiberglass and it holds. That's right. My sills are a mess. Um, but I think once they clean up, they'll look pretty good.
putting all the parts here in this uh, tub. Uh, so hopefully I can, you know, find them later. That's the key. Oh man. So this is 1975 Corvette Velcro. This piece sticks to the other piece, as you saw. This piece is supposed to be on the, the door panel, but it must have had like plastic rivets. It did not stay on the door panel. I kind of like those. Velcros. I don't. I don't know if they're truly can be called Velcro, but it's just plastic on plastic. Well, that screw is stripped. This screw is stripped. Hmm. Yeah, I have to watch a video on how to get out stripped screws. This screw. Head looks good. This screw head looks good. Okay. I'm gonna try first to clean out the Phillips parts with this standard screwdriver. Try to dig out any chunks that are kind of blocking my Phillips from biting in. Very bad. So what I might be able to do is with just a slightly skinnier head, regular screwdriver, I'll be able to get some kind of bite on there. you see it turn? I thought I saw it turn. Am I just fooling myself? Or did it turn a little bit? I must be just fooling myself. Okay. Hmm. So close. Okay, well, it might be that a different Phillips head screwdriver will take care of it. I have a few to choose from. But most of them are going to be about the same as the one I was using. So I don't know which benefit I'll get from trying a different one. Okay, this is my best bet right there. The screwdriver.
understand this. As far as I know, you screw into fiberglass so I wouldn't think there'd be a whole lot of <sighs> tightness. Okay well that's not working but that screwdriver does have the most bite on it so I'm gonna spray it with some PB blaster see if uh, it can get in there and loosen things up. There's not a lot to not a lot to get into. Jeez. Uh, I'm at a loss for ideas. The PB blaster doesn't do anything. Alright. Well, not to be dissuaded, discouraged, discarded. I'm just gonna move on to these. Rocker panels that are also notoriously rusted out and not able to remove. Boy, let's let them all go like that. That was perfect. All right, that was tight, but it let go. Three more to do. Okay. Uh, that makes sense. Got three standard head screws and two Phillips head screws. why that would be the case but clearly that's the case no problem Two Phillips heads for the front, and three flat heads for everywhere else. Okay, and I think we're ready to come right off. Here. Ta da! Okay, I got it. What is this? Hmm, an interesting artifact. I cannot say what that might be, or where it came from, or where it will go to. But, I do.
do. See that that rocker panel's off. All right. Old Iron Horse Garage has got to be pleased with that. Um, that'll get cleaned up. Probably stripped down. And then... And then, uh... Painted purple. Is my guess. This thing jumped out of my hands. As if it had somewhere to go. I think... I will include my rocker panels with my door sills. Door sills. And rockers. Done. Okay. Let's see what we can do for this side. Looks like same setup. So we got some Philips here. Oh, the clip came off. Don't lose that. Phillips here. And then flat heads for the rest of the way. Let's see if we can break this one free. A little red spider crawling around there. Easy. One. Not as easy. And this one. Easy. Okay. Well, I'm going to set this video off for now and finish up this rocker and I think I'll call it quits for a while. Later.